Hello, welcome to Cashflow. Today we're going to show you our CIS functionality. To enable CIS all we need to do is click in the settings menu on the left hand side and if we scroll down to our configuration settings we just need to click into the CIS option screen. Once we're in here we just need to make sure that we click enable CIS on sales or if applicable we just need to enable on purchases as well. We need to key in if the rate is dependent on customer or supplier code, put in our default rate um, whether or not it's a deduction from net or gross value um, we tick the box if we want to show the amount of deduction on the printed invoice and also it will automatically create a code to track CIS deductions we can put a list of excluded nominal codes in here as well so I've already added in my materials purchased in here and we can just add new codes from here that we don't want um, this applied against on the top right hand side we can choose whether or not we want to add these reference fields in we've got our UTR number, company registration number, national insurance and verification numbers in here and these can be customised labels that will appear on our CIS summary report we can then choose whether we want to show the net amounts um, instead of gross and if we want those items grouped together on our reporting once we've enabled that all we need to do is just tick the save option and then next to the customer or relevant supplier record, if we just click into the record here, it's now created a CIS tab at the top of the page. And then we can just click whether we need to apply CIS to invoices for this customer or supplier and put in their default rate and their relevant reference fields will be stored in here as well. As soon as I click update against this record, if I click into invoices and we just go and create a new invoice for this customer, I can just add line items to it. We're just going to quickly just key something in here, and I'm just going to put uh, two days in here. Once I now save this invoice, you'll see it's generated a new little button where we can apply our CIS deduction against this transaction. So if I click that, you'll see it's generated my CIS deduction, and it's stored that in here as well. And if I go into my reports, we have our CIS summary report within the system. I can choose the date range whether it will be sales and purchases and if it's items issued or payments received and then we can just run that report off through the system and we can see it's generated my customer information, the date, the invoice details, it would have all my relevant reference fields in here as well, invoice value and the total of the CIS deduction and all that information is stored in this report. I then have the ability to print off this report or I can download that information straight out to a CSV format and that will give me the information that I need to disclose to the HMRC to submit my CIS deductions. And that is how easy it is to manage CIS within Cashflow.